In this problem, we have a wheel of radius 0.5 meters that is rolling down a hill with an initial velocity of 6 meters per second. The wheel travels a vertical distance of 4 meters, and we're asked to find the final velocity of the center of mass of the wheel. We're assuming that there's no friction, there's no energy lost due to friction, and we can assume the wheel to be a disk of uniform density. So, this is a work energy problem where um, potential energy is converted into kinetic energy. Um, and we're asked to find the final velocity, so this is determined from the final kinetic energy. Uh, so, we first have to come up with the expressions for the kinetic and potential energy. So, the potential energy, V, um, about the center of gravity, is going to be equal to mgy, where y is going to be the distance from our datum uh, to the center of gravity. So this is y, and this is our datum. So this vertical distance um, is going to be, again, the distance from here to our center of gravity, g. And that's at the center of the wheel. That is a simple expression for the potential energy. Now let's look at the kinetic energy, which is a bit more involved. So t, the kinetic energy, is going to be equal to uh, 1 half mvg squared uh, plus 1 half i omega squared. Okay, so we have a component due to the translation of the center of gravity and a component due to the rotation, right? So we know vg. Um, we need to find an expression for i omega squared in terms of vg, which we can do um, based on the geometry of, of the wheel. So if we look at the wheel, we know that um, the point of contact is going to be our um, instantaneous center of zero velocity right? Um, and if we know omega, so let's assume that the wheel is rolling with omega in this direction, uh, we know that given a radius, we can get a velocity of the center of gravity um, that points in the following direction, vg. So we know based on um, v is equal to omega cross r, uh, because this is our radius, um, that since these are all perpendicular, and omega points out of the page, um, we know that we can just directly multiply. So we can actually we actually find the relationship that uh, omega is equal to uh, v g divided by r. Okay. The other thing is in the question it says we can assume that the wheel is a disk. So i for a disk is one half m r squared. And this is just because it's a disk. So if we plug this into this equation, we get that uh, 1 half mvg squared plus 1 half i, which is um, 1 half m r squared times omega squared, which is vg over r all squared is, uh, reduces to the following. Which equals to three-fourths mvg squared. Okay, now we can, we now have expressions for the potential energy and the kinetic energy uh, at the two states, so now we apply conservation of energy, which is um, as follows. At the initial state, v naught plus t naught, we have the same energy at the final state, which is vf plus tf. Okay, so this is the initial state, um, or uh, zero, and when the wheel rolls down to this point over here, this is the uh, final state. Okay, so initially, we have the following potential energy. MGH, right, because H is the distance between the datum and the center of gravity. Plus, we know an initial velocity of the center of gravity, so 
three fourths m v g naught squared. This is going to be equal to the final velocity, which is what we're trying to find, three fourths m v g f squared plus um, the potential energy. Sorry, this is. The kinetic energy, which goes here. Potential energy is mgr. And this is because at the final state, our center of gravity will be at a height r with respect to our datum, right? That's why we have mgr. Now we take this equation, we know this term, we know this term, and we know this term, so we can finally solve for VGF um, as, and that is our final answer. So VGF is equal to the square root, and I'm going to start plugging in values. So 9.81 meters per second squared times 4 meters minus 0 0.5 meters. So um, with this, I have condensed these two terms into a one, where this is h and this is r, plus 3 fourths times uh, vg naught squared, which is uh, 6 meters per second squared. And then we take the, um, we multiply all of this by 4 thirds. And then we take the square root and we get the final answer, which is 9 meters per second. And this is our final answer.